All right, just some puppy homework for Mr. Drover for the weekend. Um, he's doing really well. Um, I find that when, that when we are around competing motivators, he tends to choose those and totally blow us off. So, um, out. Good. <laughs> um, so I want to build a little bit better um, name recognition and better engagement. Um, he's a really young dog. He's a sponge right now. Everything that's happening is a learning opportunity. So we want to make sure that he's uh, learning things that we want for future Drover as he turns into a little adult man dog. So um, I like to just kind of let him drag a long line around so he can have the option to move around and sniff and do those things, simulating a real world experience. Out. Good boy. Nope. Out. Good. Get it. Go get it. Um, and just reinforcing him for checking in. So right now he's jumping up on me because I'm not engaging with him. So I'm just using that word out, out, good, where I step into his space. And as I say the word out, it's asking for space using spatial pressure and then he's learning what that word means. Excuse me, and then we are transferring that word to meaning things away from me as well. So I was just going to eventually mean to leave a resource alone altogether. Um, we're not quite there yet. Out. Good boy. Um, but we'll get there. So, name recognition. Um, we're just going to let again let him drag the leash around. When he shows a little bit of interest in some interest in something away from me, I'm going to say his name. And the moment that he turns and looks back at me or starts to move towards me, Jover. We'll mark with that yes marker and deliver food. So I don't want it there to be any bribing. Nope, no, nope. good boy. Um, it's going to be when you do the thing that I'm looking for, then I will pay that, right? So like I had food ready in my hand, but I'm not showing it to him necessarily. It's just going to be an option that I have. So when he walks around, sniffs, Joker, yes. <laughs> so I'm saying the word first. And then presenting that food, I want him responding to that marker, that reward word, and not my physical movements. I don't want him relying on that physicality because then if he is not paying attention and he's not responding, responding to the verbal marker, then it's potentially a missed opportunity. The leash is here to build reliability. So when he chooses to interact more so with the competing motivator, so like earlier if you're sipping on that mop thingy, um, I can say no, that's not an option, and re uh, enforce that he does turn and come back towards me. Drover! Yes! Come on, we! And he's, a, I don't want to use the word lazy, but he's a little bit more um, calmer about things. So I'm incorporating a little bit of movement. I, I want to build up his work ethic. He's kind of um, seeming like he's just waiting for me to do things for him. No, out, the boy. Um, and with the jumping up, I'm at a stage now where, out, yes. I don't want to reinforce him every time he jumps up with, by paying that out. I want to just start establishing, like, hey, you just need to give me space. Um, if he comes up to me and kind of like, like goes up to jump and then puts his feet back down, I'm gonna pay that because he's thinking, he's using his brain, he's learning, hey, like maybe she doesn't really like that. Um, but I want to pay before those things happen so that I can break that cycle. Drummer! I want him seeking me. I want him coming to me to take food. I want it to be something that might happen if he does the thing that I'm looking for. And I'm not bribing, I'm not showing him and hoping that he enjoys, he, he finds the thing that I have to offer reinforcing. I want it to be, this is what our options are and maybe you might get something good out of it. Drover, out. Yes, what a good boy. So when we make that reinforcer slightly harder to get, and for him, I'm just kind of slowly moving it because he's learning what I'm looking for, or he's learning how to catch that. Um, we up the value of our reinforcer because we're tapping into that prey drive aspect. The chase is almost more exciting than the actual um, receiving of the reinforcer. Come. Good boy. Sit. Good. Good is going to be our duration marker. Good. And when I say good, I'm going to take him in behavior. And then, okay, it means that he can come out of behavior. 
Um, but the big thing for this weekend is practicing his intro to recall, right? Or just name recognition. I say his name. If he comes over to me, I'll say the word come right then and there. But I'm not going to say Joe come until he's consistently coming towards me when I say his name and he's not quite there yet because of his age and because this is a silly boy. Um, but I want him finding value and in, in interacting with you. Um, if you guys have a backyard, uh, this is a great thing to do outside in the backyard. Um, I find that a lot of people, we, myself included sometimes, we're like, hey, just go out to the bathroom. That's where you go to the bathroom. Go out there when you're ready to come in, you can come in. And then the dog goes out and enjoys themselves. They're mostly alone. Um, and then when, next time they see us is we're telling them it's time to come inside. So he's going from a higher value situation and we're asking him to come into a lower value situation. And historically, if that's what's happening, good boy. Um, they learn to avoid that, right? He's like, I'm gonna just ignore them, then I get to stay out here longer. So, um, or then we have to go chase after him, and now that we're doing an interactive game that's in his favorite, no sir. Um, so, out, go boy. Hi. Good, so if we go and we do these recall games outside where he's on leash so we can enforce it, um, we're building a relationship where when he comes to you, it's just something that we do for fun, he gets something out of it, we're playing, we're being interactive, um, and he, we're also teaching a recall, uh, and that's going to help long term with anything where if he's like, I don't really want to come inside yet. What are you doing? Drover, out! Yes, wow, that was beautiful! I knew there's snack was in there, huh? Um, yeah, we're, I don't even know what I was saying, that caught me off guard. Um, cool, if you have any questions, or if you need me to finish that last sentence, I can go back and watch this again. I have no idea what the last thing was that I was saying before you started dragging the place thing over. Um, he's doing really well. He is playing in nicely in the group. He has been pulled a couple of times. No, good, because he is a humper. Um, so every time he gets really worked up, and starts being a little bit of a bully, we just pull him inside. So no punishment or anything like that, it's just, oh, too much, he comes inside, we remove the fun from him, we let him settle down, and then he comes back out and he tries again. So, um, no. Attention, behavior, I'm not really gonna entertain that too much, I might just use my leash to kind of like make him go away from me, right? Um, it's really hard, or it's not really hard, it's one of those things where all attention can be perceived as good attention, so even for like, hey, don't do that, Maybe he's like, oh, let's, I'll take it. Cool, I like that interaction. So I try to kind of have myself not be really a part of it, and I'm just gonna move him away with, not like that, with a little bit of spatial pressure um, so I can say like, hey, you can't just demand things from me all of the time. Again, he's a sponge right now. Everything he's experiencing is a learning opportunity, so we have to be careful with what we reinforce. Sometimes we accidentally reinforce things that we strongly dislike, simply because he perceives it as something reinforcing, even though we're intending it to be not reinforcing. All right, again, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to reach out. You wanna go outside and play? Goodbye.